All right, guys, so we're back for another Dokkan battle video, and some good shit happened. Uh, just got done with my summoning stream not too long ago, where I wanted to rainbow a few units. I was thinking of rainbowing uh, Final Form Cooler, uh, Turles, Great Ape Turles, Full Power Freeze, and Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Uh, I stopped without rainbowing Turles and Super Saiyan 4 Goku, though. I'll save those for later, because eventually there's going to be a ticket banner. And, you know, I'm going to have a lot of tickets left over. So, no reason to chase so hard. Especially because we might get a new LR soon. I think so. On the upcoming Double Rates banner. Either an LR Beerus or an LR Super Saiyan God Goku. So, uh, what we could do is we can go ahead and rainbow uh, Final Form Cooler. Now, this is especially good for me. Because Final Form Cooler is definitely necessary to help me beat the only Super Battle Road stage I have yet to beat. Which is Extreme Physical. Uh, I have all the others completed, and now that I'll be able to rainbow uh, Final Form Cooler as well as Full Power uh, Final Form Frieza, I think I'll have a good shot. So let's go ahead and test out this cooler on the Movie Boss team, the new category on JP Dokkan, with Turles as the leader. Alright guys, so we are back. Uh, cooler is rainbowed. I found a friend, uh, Turles. And let's go ahead and hop into an event and look at Cooler. But real quick, uh, let's quickly break him down. So this is Open the Gates of Hell, uh, Cooler Final Form. He, of course, is the Extreme Physical 120% leader. So he'll give uh, Extreme Physical 3 key, HP, Attack, and Defense 120%. And then Super Physical 1 key, HP, Attack, and Defense 50%. His Super Attack is the Death Crasher, which does immense damage and greatly lowers defense. Obviously, the Greatly Lowers Defense is mostly pointless. Uh, his passive skill is Abject Hell, which is attack and defense 100% chance, which is awesome. Uh, and then he has Launch and Additional, which has a chance to become a super attack, which I believe is a 10% chance. So most of the time, that second attack will indeed just be a normal attack. But it is still nice uh, having Cooler, you know, being able to launch so many attacks. Now, the other thing about him launching two attacks from his passive that way is the uh, chance for the additional uh, attack from the potential system can activate on both of those. Now, it'll only activate once across all the attacks. Like, once it activates, it doesn't have a chance to activate again. So, uh, like, a Rainbow Cooler will routinely get uh, three attacks, which is obviously really, really good. Uh, his links are Strongest Clan in Space, Thirst for Conquest, Big Bad Bosses, Shocking Speed, Universe's Most Malevolent, Metamorphosis, and Fierce Battle. So he has a nice Link set. Uh, his 12 key multiplier is 140%, which actually is a little underwhelming. Uh, if this was a little higher, like 150%, like Super Saiyan 4 Goku, whoo! Oh my goodness, would you have to back the fuck up. Now, obviously he also has the Movie Boss category, which was recently uh, established here on JP Dokkan. Which is pretty interesting uh, because, you know, he's able to finally be on a category lead and a category team. And he certainly does pull his own weight on this category team. Um, obviously, he's not going to be as powerful as, say, you know, LR Broly or LR Bojack on this category. But Physical Final Form Cooler, I'm sure, will be a staple for many on this team. His abilities are very, very potent. And I think he's going to be able to defend and deal a ridiculously high amount of damage. Not to mention, having the double Turles floating around on this team will be a nightmare for these fuckers who want to step to us. So, um, I brought, like, uh, Tech uh, Golden Frieza here, maybe to activate some of his links. Uh, Cooler also would share Thirst for Conquest with uh, either of the Bojacks. So, that's pretty good. Um, Alright, so... Looks like he will get a little... Oh, actually, oh, yeah. Turles does have Thirst for Conquest as well. True. So, we'll leave Turles on rotation with Cooler. Uh, obviously, Turles is going to bring out a monster amount of potential uh, for Final Form Cooler. Obviously, having that 40... Yeah, 1.6 million is very, very high, considering this fucker might get two more attacks, bro. Uh, yeah, needless to say, Super Saiyan Blue Goku... Uh, not quite able to stand up to the power there. Uh, so we'll go ahead. Let's have uh, let's have Janemba bob and weave. How about that? Uh, and we'll probably... Uh, I'm going to leave uh, uh, Golden Frieza here on rotation as well. I I'll probably just uh, settle in and have the Turlises, uh actually become floaters. 
Um, and then, okay, there's a dodge. There's a dodge. Okay, that's not a dodge, Shinobu. That was not a dodge, Shinobu. So, this movie boss category team, for me, this is definitely going to be one of my favorite categories to run. Because, wow, okay. Because uh, <laughs> I have a lot of these movie boss characters uh, rainbowed. So, you know, I'm going to be able to tear through events pretty easily with this team. And, you know, this is going to work as, like, a semi, like, similar team to the villain team. Uh, we're actually going to have to use a Baba here. Unfortunately, uh, if you get bad luck and Goku attacks right at the start, uh, that is an instant death unless you happen to dodge his attack. Now, this category is very, very powerful. Again, it, it's almost kind of, it's very similar to the villain team. It's kind of a villain team-ish, just uh, instead of having... Like, double SCR Rosé floating around, you have the double Turles floating around. So, you can kind of build the team in a similar fashion. You know, I'm sure you could almost build the villain team with, like, uh, double, you know, Rosé Goku Black leaders. And then maybe bring uh, the third unit as your Turles so that every rotation you would have a unit floating around that's giving three key. I actually think that would be, that would be insanely powerful. Uh, I might try that team out. I might... I might go back in the banner and actually Rainbow Turles. Uh, not really. I mean, he doesn't really need it, but he's still a very powerful unit. And he is a unit I'm going to be using all the time the more I think about it. Like, he is maybe the best World Tournament unit. Uh, I don't know. I, you know what? I'm, <laughs> I was like, you know what? I'm good. I'm good with just this. But now I'm thinking about it, and I'm like, ah, uh, you know, I kind of really would like to go back in that banner. And, and I'd like to pull him. But <laughs> we'll, we'll see. We'll see. So... Normally, Ultra Instinct Goku would be, like, dealing crazy damage right here. But, obviously, with SCR Janemba, as well as uh, Gold and Frieza, it's just not going to matter. Now, I had brought the... A oh, there's another dodge. I brought AGL Bojack here with the intention that he would be, uh, like, on a rotation with LR Bojack. But the way it's going to work out, I actually, uh, like, you know, whatever. I'm just having the Bojacks float. It's not really that big of a deal. And Ultra Instinct Goku does have a long animation. Wow, 32,000 to Golden Freeze. That's, that's actually a lot of damage. Like, I know what that is a type advantage, but still, bro. It's, oh, ho, 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 Nearly a 2 million attack stat. And then this man, look at that, 300,000 attack stat on a normal. Oh, but he didn't get the third super. I was like, uh-oh. Our boy. Look at Turles. His attack stat was over a million right there. Yo, I, I, I'm, I'm going to have to go back in and rainbow him. Turles, honestly, is one of my favorite units that they've added to the game recently. He is just so, so damn powerful. Uh, all right, so... Ooh, what is this? What, what is all these purple orbs just perfectly placed? What the fuck? Okay, well, <laughs> Bojack going to go ahead and blow away uh, Ultra and Sengoku here. So, yeah, guys, as you can see in the movie boss category team, as often, like, anytime I get a chance to showcase this team, uh, I'm going to because it's just stupid. It's stupid powerful. These villain teams, like, a lot of times, a lot of them don't link the best together. But if you happen to have, like, a support unit who can, like, really help these units, like, get key, these teams are, it's just, like, they're stupid OP. Like, <laughs> there's, all of these units are defensive monsters. Like, Janemba, Golden Frieza, LR Bojack, like, like, all of these units are not going to take any damage. Even Cooler? If Cooler has Big Bad Boss is active with his 100% defense, like, you're not going to fucking touch him. It's just, it's dumb how strong villains are. That's why I, I still think the uh, SCR Rose Goku Black villain team is the best team in the game. Uh, the reason I think it's actually better than uh, the Movie Boss category team is just because I think LR Goku Black is, you know, one of the, like, top five best units in the game. And he... He doesn't fit on this category, even though he uh, does get a boost from the leader skill. So here, a cooler is just going to say, uh, goodbye, my son. Yeah, casual million. Oh, get us another super. Come on. 
get us another super. 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 Super! Oh, okay. That's fine. Regardless, as you guys can see, like, this wasn't even really my full power, you know, movie villain team. Like, we just demolished this. Like, that, <laughs> that was a joke. We, we came in, we pulled our dick out, and we just slapped Ultra Instinct Goku in the face with it. We said, bitch, uh, you thought. <laughs> get the fuck up out of here. So, uh, movie boss category team, again, <laughs> stupid OP. I I'm going to try and show it, like, as much as I can in the upcoming weeks. I have noticed, unfortunately, it's begun to get a little hard uh, finding Turles friends. Uh, because, obviously, I, I talked about it before, but, like, Akatsuki, if they're going to release a unit like this, they got to put him, like, alongside, like, dominant beast units. Or, like, because people are just not going to summon. Like, I know, I've had several people talk to me and tell me, I'm not pulling for Turles because I know I'm not going to find friends for him because of this god-awful friend system. If Akatsuki could just get their heads out of their asses and please fix that... That then, hello, they would make more money because people would summon for Turles. They know they would be able to find Turles friends and they'd actually be able to use the fucking team. That's why a unit like Super 17 or in Kibu also did not sell is because it's like, okay, you pulled him. Congrats. He spent, you know, 200 bucks pulling Super 17. But guess what, fucker? Now you're never going to fucking use them because you can't find the team. Like, it's, it's dumb. It's dumb. It's dumb. It's dumb. It's dumb. Everyone knows it's dumb. Uh, hopefully they fix the friend system soon, but I'm not really holding my breath. Uh, so we have Rainbow Cooler. Actually, real quick, I'll show you guys uh, a couple of the upcoming videos right here as I sign off. Uh, a couple more 100% uh, unit showcases coming. Uh, physical Full Power Frieza. We have the Tech uh, Golden Frieza and then Great Ape Turles. I will 100% very soon. Uh, normal AGL Turles. We'll see. Uh, let me see what you know how easily I get the Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta and Bulma card, which comes out in a few days. Depending on how that works out, uh, I might actually rainbow Turles, but we'll see. Regardless, y'all, thanks for watching, and I'm going to catch you guys next time.